Hey, it's Mike here with the Studio for Teaching and Learning Innovation. I want to show you how you can publish your Google site and make it available to anyone with the link. So here I am in a Google site that I've got, and I'm going to click on the little... I'm logged in, so I'll see there's the little pencil here to edit the page at the bottom left. I mean at the bottom right. If you don't see that, you'll need to log in. Make sure you log in with your William & Mary username and password, and I'll click on the little pencil. And that brings me to my dashboard. And I want to make sure that the site is published. So I'll hit Publish here at the top right. And if I don't have any um, edits to be published, it'll give me this message. Um, but if I do have edits to publish, then I can just click on the Publish button here at the top right, and then all my new edits will be published. And I'm going to go back um, to the editor here. And now I just want to make sure that I'm sharing it with the public. Um, so I can click on Share with Others. And if you notice, I can change the draft. Anyone with the link right now has access to the draft, but I want to restrict that. I don't want anyone with the link to have it, so I can click Restricted. Um, and then I can change what, they, what access they have, um, either viewer or editor. Um, I can also publish the site. So right now, the published site is for William & Mary. Um, anyone in the group can find it and open it. I can pull down on this and I can either remove the link or restrict the link. Let me restrict the link. And now you'll notice I've got the published site is public. And I'm going to go ahead and hit done. And now I know that that published site is public, so as long as I have the URL, um, I can send it to anybody. And I'll click done. And now let's just go ahead and copy that link. So I'm going to go ahead and go to, um, or actually copy publish site link. I'm sorry, it's the little link here at the top. So now I've copied that link. And now if I want to make sure that it's available for people, I can go to my file and new incognito window so that I'm logged out. And I can paste that link in there. I'll click return. And now you'll notice I'm, I'm allowed to see the site. I don't see a pencil mark here. Uh, the, the pencil icon here in the bottom right, so I know it's available to anybody on the web. Um, and so that's how you'd make it available to other people to look at.